Well, um, definitely excited to be a part of a uh, rivalry. This was my first experience here. I think they call it the hump. And uh, it was an incredible environment. And, um, you know, I thought that my team played their hearts out. And, you know, it's a lot that I think we can build on. I think we're um, <clears throat> in a different, like we're not trying to do what Mississippi State's trying to do right now. So for us and where we're trying to go, I thought this was a step forward. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Program. Absolutely. What, what can you glean from yeah. This yeah. Well, the word "look up to." I don't like that word. I don't look up to them. Uh, but I think that they do a great job here. And so, one thing that I talked about on the radio just now is, you know, I remember when Vic got the job, and I remember who was in the stands when he was there. And so, to see it now, it's incredible. And so, hopefully, when we turn the program around, which I am 100% sure that we will do, that we will have the same environment uh, in Oxford. And how great would that be, not only for the rivalry, but for women's basketball? I thought it was great. I mean, I enjoyed it. The fans were talking to me. They were talking trash. Uh, we smiled a little bit. It was great. Uh, so for me, uh, this is what women's basketball should be like because these young women work hard and, and they deserve to. And, and what I'm most impressed with, the men played yesterday. And I text my staff. I said, there's no way they'll have this place filled after a men's game. Like I hate when our men play at home because it, it hurts our crowd the following day. And the fact that he came out, kudos to the people in Starkville. <laughs> And more. She's a stud. I love her. I love her game. I love what she brings to the table. I love the fact that we got a block on her and we're not going to be on ESPN because of her block and stare down this game. And uh, I'm glad she's a senior. What do you learn about your team? Yeah. Well, one thing we I, I talked to them about, you know, I think people misconstrue what a rivalry is like. Obviously, it's lopsided right now, right? But a rivalry is not about hating the other team. The rivalry is about having pride and loving your university. And uh, I wanted our, our young women to start to see and, and feel like they belong and they deserve to be there and to compete and not look at the score. You know, when I look at this, I, I, knowing Vic, he ain't happy about this game. Okay, uh, first quarter, they beat us by eight, third quarter by four, fourth quarter by six. I mean, listen, I just came from a program that was 24, 23, and 22 wins back to back to back, and I would have been pissed with the performance um, because I know where I'm trying to go. He's trying to win a national championship. I'm trying to win SEC games. Different type of journey right now. Uh, but, you know, uh, for us, I'm excited about going back home. We have been having a better crowd, and I'm looking forward for another opportunity to compete. Coach, what do you think the difference was in that second quarter? Yeah, I, well, his guards, man, they just turned it up, and uh, Danbury and Taylor, uh, oh, my God. I, I told the girls at halftime, I said, guys, I mean, I know it seems like everywhere you turn, they're there. That's how we want to defend. That's called guarding your yard. They just do such an incredible job of sitting down and defending. And uh, it really bothered us. And it's to the point where, like, for the officials, they don't know what to call because they're, they're always playing at a high level all the time. And I think they turned it up. And we had a meltdown. Second quarters have been our Achilles heel all season. Uh, and so it – got us again this game. Coach, emotional return for Salter, I'm sure. Yeah. How did you feel like she kind of managed her emotions this week leading up to this? You know what? I thought she did well. I didn't know what to expect from Big Ticket, you know, uh, because – this, I mean, I'm sure she wanted, I, I'm just glad she scored because I don't want to hear her, you know what I mean? Like she would, it would have been bad. So I'm glad she played well. Uh, could she have played better? Yes, but, you know, she's coming along as well. And I thought she did a lot of good things for her not to foul out um, because she had gotten in some foul trouble. Uh, as a senior, I put out there because seniors have to be able to play through stuff. And, and I thought that her presence alone for the, for the rest of the young women, it was important. Any other questions? All right, thank Thanks, you. guys.